What's going on smart people? Today was the last day of classes this semester. All that is left are final exams. I have three next week. One on Monday, which is for math methods. One is on Wednesday, which is for quantum mechanics. And one is on Thursday, which is for classical mechanics. So today, since math methods is the most uh, upcoming, I'm going to be studying for that. More specifically, I'm going to be directing my focus to complex analysis because that's probably what I need to work on the most. For complex analysis, we covered analytic functions, so holomorphic and meromorphic. Uh, we went over Cauchy's theorem. We did the cauchy riemann differential equations, residue theorem, of course, Cauchy's formula, principal value integrals, and the kramers kronig dispersion relation. So really, to study for this, I'm not going to do too much with the notes. What I'm really going to do is, since this uh, complex analysis book by Alfors has a bunch of exercises in it, I'm going to work through some of these exercises that have to do with uh, contour integration and just residue theorem as a whole, and then see if I can't find solutions to them online, see if I'm on the right track. If you guys have any nice online resources that you recommend for complex analysis, please do let me know in the comment section. I am getting a little bit ahead of my Myself, though, because quite frankly, I'm not ready to solve complex analysis problems yet. Uh, I think I need to go through the chapter again and take some, some notes from the book itself instead of from my professor's lecture notes. And then after I've done that, I'm going to see about solving some problems. So I'm going to take some LaTeX notes real quick. See you when I'm done with that. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, I've realized how much information there is before it actually starts to cover the stuff that we were doing in class. I guess we skipped a lot of material in math methods and just went straight to the juicy stuff because this whole chapter three of the book that I'm using has uh, analytic functions as mappings and it gets into elementary point set topology and a bunch of interesting sounding stuff that you know we never covered so it, it really makes me wonder how much I'm missing in uh, what we did with complex variables. I'd like to actually delve deeper into this maybe over winter break. I think I definitely overestimated how much I'd be able to get done today. I don't want to push for problem solving before I'm really ready to solve them without referencing anything. Uh, so I think for the rest of the day, I'm really going to emphasize getting the notes down, taking really high quality notes and making sure I understand what's going on and then dedicating tomorrow to the problem solving stuff. I really wish I took a complex analysis course in, I was about to say high school, in undergrad. What's really slowing down my pace with this is how often I'm seeing myself break away from the book to fill in the gaps of certain derivations that are sort of skipped over. You know, unfortunately, you, you kind of grow to expect that from certain physics textbooks, but in my experience, it's pretty easy to fill in those gaps with just certain arguments. So it, it, I guess it's they can get away with that better, but I didn't really expect that from a math book. Or maybe, maybe the stuff should be obvious and I'm just an idiot. But I've just been taking my notes in LaTeX as usual just so I can have nice, clean, permanent notes that I can add to and don't have to worry about spilling coffee on again. Realistically, any problems involving complex analysis on the exam are going to be pretty simple ones of just simple applications of residue theorem and stuff, which I already feel okay with. But I'm going to need to have a deeper understanding of complex analysis later on, so I might as well kill two birds with one stone and study it a bit more in depth now. Honestly, this is being a little bit distracting tonight, so I'm going to end the video here and get back to studying. Tomorrow is December 1st, and I know a lot of grad school applications for the fall are due on the 15th or so. At least that's how it was last year. So if you're applying to graduate schools, let me know in the comment section how that's going for you, and I'll see you guys there.